In this video, I will introduce a Ray Sector antenna for 2 GHz unlicensed bands. Hi, I'm Mr. T, the product guy at RF Element. All you need to assemble and install this antenna is a 13 mm wrench. The radiation pattern of this antenna is wide in the azimuth and narrow in the elevation plane. This shape of radiation pattern is good for applications where customers are spread out throughout the coverage area. Thanks to the lower path loss of the 2 GHz frequencies, the distant customers in rural areas are easy to reach. The landscape profile should be rather flat or mildly hilly. If you use them in hilly or mountainous regions, the elevation narrow beam will not be able to cover the valleys well. The array sector provides a great network performance thanks to the gain and radiation pattern stable over the whole useful bandwidth. The array sector is an antenna mainly useful in cases when reaching the distant customers is more important than achieving the high network throughput. The industry standard radio mounting bracket lets you use array sector with all major radio platforms in the industry. Migration between the radio platforms is also easy and the plastic hood protects the radio from environmental influences. A WISP industry standard established by RF Elements. The antenna body is made of high quality materials extruded and stamped aluminium to protect the antenna from oxidizing, UV-resistant ABS plastic and stainless steel hardware. The antenna will withstand extreme environmental conditions with temperatures from minus 35 up to plus 60 degrees Celsius. The durability of the array sector weighs only 3.5 kilograms and has a practical handle for carrying or to be clipped to a carabiner and a harness while climbing a tower. The bracket of the array sector is designed to ensure easy handling, assembly and tower mounting. Only 4 M8 bolts are needed to assemble the antenna and additional 4 screws to attach it to the tower. The 4 big screws have black colored anti-friction surface coating that protects them from seizing and makes the bracket easy to use. Check our short video for more information about the coating itself. When the pole diameter is smaller than 57 mm, install the bracket as shown so the bolts don't protrude too much. If the pole diameter is larger than 57 mm, flip the bracket for the best results. Once the antenna is aimed and the tilt adjusted, you can install the radio and you're ready to rock!